Hello, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to the latest edition of Fran Coach's Franchising 101 series. I am Tim Parmeter, founder and CEO of Fran Coach, and your Franchising 101 host and podcast host. Uh, today, we are excited to bring you the October edition of the Franchisor Spotlight. In the Franchisor Spotlight, this is where we're going to feature one of our franchise partners, and we're going to spend the next 25, 30 minutes getting the chance to take a deep dive into what they are all about. Um, who are we shining the spotlight on this month? Well, we've got a franchise with, um, check these things out, a very low overhead, low investment um, with cutting edge technology that brings them huge revenue potential. Um, if that's not enough of a teaser, how about this? They also tap into an industry that actually increased by over $10 billion in the last two years, features a skilled and passionate staff and has such a wide range of services that owners know they can always meet the need of their customer. Um, sounds pretty good, right? But before we tell you that story, we have to, of course, tell you this one. Um, who is Fran Coach? Well, we are a national search firm dedicated to working with individuals who are interested in owning a franchise. We are partnered with well over 500 of the top franchisors in the country, spanning nearly 60 industries. Our goal is to help clients find the absolute best franchise for them to own, and the goal of the Franchising 101 series is to help educate people on all aspects of franchise ownership. Um, so that is a bit about us, but now, of course, let's get to the good stuff. And joining us today is Mr. Barry Al Yacoubi. Um, and Barry is the CEO of our spotlighted franchise, which is called Send Me a Trainer. Barry, thanks for joining us today. Hey, Tim. Thanks for having me. Awesome. No, we're a, we have a ton of questions for you there, my friend. So buckle up, brother. Um, we want to hear all about send me a trainer. But uh, first thing I always want to want to hear is let, let's kind of understand this from a, I, I guess, kind of a consumer perspective before we get into the owner stuff. What the heck is send me a send me a trainer? So send me a trainer is the easy way to stay fit by having access to personal trainers to who come to you. So think of Uber, but for personal trainers, but now wrapped up in a friend in a model where you can now connect with a local trainer. That's not, that, that, that sounds so basically I just hop on, hop, hop on my phone and, and uh, get, get, get a, get a trainer rolling over to my house to work my lazy butt out. Yeah, absolutely. And the main thing here, our goal is to all of our trainers are we run background checks and we make it easy for you to connect with a verified trainer. Um, and most importantly, you can always rotate trainers at any time. So when you download the app, you can now you know select, you know, ask a few questions like based off what are your goals. And then you're going to submit a broadcast to all the local trainers in the local network. And then the trainers are going to get verified and they're going to now respond to that request that you just submitted and either accept it or you know uh, or maybe they're not available and at that point you can now connect with the trainers who are available and have a trainer that comes to you and on the app you can keep track of your sessions and your payments easily on the app as well wow okay so you're, you're basically bringing that that expert trainer to you wherever you happen to be obviously mostly in your home right and then yeah. whatever you're looking to do workout wise um is are there certain thing only certain things a customer can have uh with a trainer or what does that kind of scope of of opportunities look like yeah good question so even where you know you can even offer other service categories such as maybe you want a tennis coach or maybe you want a golf coach. So things outside of a personal trainer, the core of our business is all about connectivity with the best user experience for the customer, but also for our providers. And that's where you can now download the app. You can look at all the different types of profiles. Maybe you want a yoga coach, or maybe you want a Pilates coach, or maybe you're, you know, a pre, you know, you know, a mom who's about to have a baby. And you want a prenatal certified trainer to kind of work with you, or maybe you're a senior that just has some a lot of back pain and knee pain, and you really, really need that corrective exercise. So our goal is to provide you with top local professionals with different uh, specialties. Again, you have youth programs for kids. Maybe you want a, a tennis coach or a golf coach for your kids, or maybe you want to, a, to do a tennis lesson yourself. You know, we want to be able to provide you with local fitness professionals easily on the app where you could 
Now download the app, look at all the different profiles and select the ones that you want to work with. And again, you can always rotate different um, you know, trainers and pick any trainer that you want to work with. So you're never stuck to one trainer on the platform. Gotcha. Cool. Very cool. So how did you, um, I, cause this is a fantastic concept or how did you come to like, how did send me a trainer even come into existence? Well, it was funny because back in 2007, um, I was working at the gym and one thing I realized working at a big box gym in Washington, DC is that, you know, 85% of gym members don't go to the gym which was uh, when I found that out, I was, I was like shocked. I was like, wow. So the gym model is really, they're betting against you, hoping that you don't come because if everyone showed up at once, they'll shut down. They just can't handle that capacity, right? And at the same time as a trainer, while, while I was training my clients at the gym, one thing I noticed is that a lot of my clients were always canceling on me on a regular basis. And one day I wanted to really get to the bottom of it. So I start to ask my clients, hey, what's going on? Why are you canceling? Like, oh, my kids got sick. Oh, my meetings at work took longer. You know, you know, you know, I have to, you know, traffic was bad and many different reasons. And then one day I told my clients, hey, well, what if I came to you? And then my client said, Bear, if you came to me, that'd be a game changer. I was like, all right, well, I'll start coming to you. That's not a problem. So I started going to my clients' homes at their homes or apartments, outdoor parks, at their corporate office gyms. I would go to them. And then quickly after that, uh, the word got out and I started to train all my clients at their homes or their preferred location, just making it convenient for them. They were more consistent. They got better results. And now the word spread. And then all of a sudden, I couldn't keep up with the demand. So I started hiring other trainers to go do, fulfill all the clients that I was getting. And at that same time, my business partner, he was doing his MBA at Northwestern and he specialized in entrepreneurship. And he was monitoring me. He's also my brother. And he was also monitoring me what I was doing. And he saw that traction. And then we put our heads together and we realized, hey, there's a real opportunity of in-home personal training. And that's when we came up with the in-home personal training where, where we now focused on, it was more of a, a concierge service where we actually matched you with the local per, a personal trainer that would come to you and we would connect the two. And after running that business for over a decade, we built proprietary technology to now automate the entire process of matching the client, connecting the, uh, the trainer, and given the tools for the client and the trainer to really stay connected. Um, and that's when we actually now came up with the modern version of what we were doing before, which is now called semi trainer. Unbelievable. That's fantastic. I, I, I always love hearing the, like kind of how, how these things got started um, with this and, and really from, from your perspective, being in the industry, just like see, seeing the need and the convenience. And I think, over time, certainly since then, um, last five, 10 years, that convenience factor has really multiplied, right? And I think the, those, those pesky millennials get a bad rap sometimes um, for, for this, but, but it's really changed buying habits, right? Um, and you, mm -hmm. you, you, mentioned, you mentioned Uber, right? It's not, we're not calling, you know, yellow cab or trying to get a friend or whatever, right? It's, it's the complete convenience of what we want when we want it. And now you've kind of brought that into kind of the, the personal training and fitness and, and kind of health and wellness side of things. So that's awesome. I love it, man. Um, yeah. Talk a little about the, the, the customers. So um, the, and you hit a little bit on this, the, the range, but it's not just like, you know, hey, it's the, typical boutique fitness 25 to 35 year old person it's all across the board who you're working with here sure. absolutely and that comes back to really being able to serve uh, many different demographics a different target audience our total addressable market right is beyond just people who want to lose weight and get fit you know we have you know people that want to keep their kids active and they maybe want a, a tennis coach or a sports specific, maybe a soccer coach for their daughter who's trying to make the JV team, right? So there's many different ways to now find and work with the local clients um, in that market from, you know, 
you know, the, the seniors to the, the, the mass population of weight loss, but also tapping into the, the youth. And then when you really think about like, what, what sector are we really in? You know, what's really unique here, it really comes back to, we're really in the convenience. Why do people choose us? Because we're an alternative options for, you know, having the convenience of someone coming to you. And if you think about what is the biggest thing today, it's all about saving time. You know, and that's why Amazon, why is Amazon doing so well? Because it's just so convenient. And I go back to like, why did Amazon beat out eBay in the early days, right? And the reason Amazon beat out eBay in the early days is because they mastermind the personal, the, the user experience and gave people a refreshing process that really would accelerate the process for people to get what they want much faster because it's convenient. And that's where we fit in is why do people choose us? Because we're convenient. We're saving people the time and hassle from going to the gym or trying to, or even trying to find a trainer on their own and go through that process and not having, you know, a reliable process there. And on top of that, we're in the fitness sector, which has always been attractive and booming every, you know, for decades now. And most importantly, now we're bringing the technology. So you're getting technology, fitness, and, uh, and, you know, convenience all wrapped up into a business model that you can now run and own. And I think, I don't want to touch on like kind of what, what you look for in an owner and what they do in a moment. Right. But, but there are times we'll, we'll talk to folks going through our process that, you know, Hey, really like something that's, you know, there, there's something cutting edge. There's a technology aspect to it. And people tend to think of things that are tech related or in a tech industry, um, this is a high tech brand. Um, it just happens to be in fitness, right? With that. So you kind of really, really hitting on all three of those categories, which is cool. And then the other piece I want you to, to address a little bit on the customer side. Um, so we all think of the, the consumer, right? You're, you're, I'm sending a trainer to my house to work out with me or, um, you know, my, my, my kid, whoever that might be, right? But there's the business to business component of it, which can be a, a huge aspect of the business. So talk, talk about that for a moment, please. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that's really a strong go to market strategy that we implement in the, when the franchise really opens up. And what we do is we like, we like to partner up with the local HOA communities. We partner up with corp, corporate offices. Um, you know, senior care facilities, hotels, luxury apartment complexes, they all have on-site amenities for their captured audience. And that's where now we, you know, they can oftentimes they'll hire us directly to add an additional benefit and amenity, such as offering free fitness classes for that community. So they'll actually hire us almost like a staffing agency to put a class schedule. How I want yoga twice a week. I want water aerobics twice a week. I want boot camp classes. I want spin classes. And now they're hiring us to um, offer on-site fitness classes for the, those uh, businesses. Again, apartment complexes, senior care facilities, corporate offices as a corporate wellness program that's booming. Right. So um, and then in addition to that, once you get the B2B relationship and the, uh, you know, they start to hire you to offer classes, automatically you're going to get the B2C directly to the consumer. And they're going to say, hey, well, I took one of your classes at work or I, I took one of your classes at the apartment complexes that I live in. And oh, yeah, by the way, I actually want to take it a step further and hire a personal trainer. And that's a great way, again, once you get the B2B relationships immediately you get a lot of the B2C relationships. Yeah, I, I, I just, I absolutely love that. And I think there's, it's, it's hidden, right? Because we don't think of that. It's not kind of on the surface level, but you, you're going to get probably bigger kind of almost contracts and longer lasting things when you get into the B2B. But then again, just like you said, man, you're going to get those people like, I had a great experience. You guys came to, you know, came to, came to my job and it was really good. I'd like to, I'd like to learn more. I'd like to have somebody come to me directly. So I, I love that. Yeah. Um, talk to us a little bit about the, so I, again, love the, we got a great understanding of what the business is doing, all of the different services. I mean, basically you're the one-stop shop, right? And you're, and you've mm -hmm. got the convenience of technology along with the fitness. 
Um, we need an owner to run this. So what are what are some things you look for in your owners and, and kind of maybe what are they doing? Yeah, good question. And, you know, when we launched this, you know, we really thought about, you know, who's the right franchise owner. And for us, the most important thing is finding people that are, you know, that have some type of experience in, in just running, you know, any type of um, operations or sales and marketing, but you don't need fitness experience because trainers are great personal trainers, but they're not the best of running and owning a business. So we're looking for someone who's a little bit more business minded uh, that will be a good fit for this. And the, the, the operations of the business has really been automated for you. So running the actual business itself meaning and the technology will do. So that's taken off a big workload from the lifestyle that you're going to have. So really all you need to focus on as a franchise owner is really the first thing is to onboard your trainers and you know create profiles for them, right? Which we have a very great process on how to do that. The second thing is once you have your batch of trainers, when we recommend to start off between eight to 10 trainers on the app, and you can always grow more from there. Um, now you're ready to start the outreach, reaching out to the local apartment complexes, the senior care facilities, the hotels, the, the, corporate, the corporate offices. And then we even partnered up with doctor offices, high-end hair salons, smoothie places. These are also great accounts to help really generate the business. So you don't need, so, and again, I want to kind of reiterate that, right? You're not looking, if, if I'm thinking about becoming an owner and I, I I, I'm not going to be the trainer, right? I'm the, I'm the business owner. You're hiring the trainers. And it not even a, it doesn't sound like a ton of direct customer interaction um, from, 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 a, from a sales process. It's more creating the partnerships, referral sources, and just kind of creating that awareness in the community. Would that be accurate? Yeah, exactly. And we have some franchise owners that are extremely passive where they don't even do that. And what they do is they activate one of their trainers to now become the head trainer, right? And now that head trainer can also take more of an active role on participating on some of the outreach, reaching out to the apartments, participating in events, right? And doing other things that contribute to the business development side. So you as a franchise owner, you could take lead on the business development side. That's fine. Or also you can, or you can contribute to that. And also, or you can also activate one of your head trainers to now take more of a, you know, lead on your, on the business development side. So there's many options depending on how passive you want this to be. Nice. So one big concern that we hear a lot um, for folks just kind of getting into the process, starting to look at franchise ownership is, is the labor market. Um, and there, there are some issues going on with that right now. Um, but yep. talk a little bit, I, I think, number, just kind of one thing for you guys is your trainers are skilled, passionate. This is what they want to do. They enjoy it. They like it. Um, but what's the benefit for a trainer being part, being working with a, a send me the trainer owner. The main benefit that trainers love is the exclusivity that we have on the app. There's other websites where you could be like one out of like a hundred trainers, but what trainers don't like about those other websites is that you're never going to get a booking because it's so competitive, right? So by being exclusive, exclusive on our app, being one out of 10, maybe one out of 15 is good because the trainer has a much higher probability of actually getting more bookings because it's not as competitive. So trainers appreciate the exclusivity that we have on, on the app for them to be on the app. And when we tell the trainers for you to keep your profile on the app, we're going to measure you by two things. Number one, you got to maintain four out of five stars on your reviews. That's number one. The second thing that we do is we tell the trainer that they have to really focus on the retention rate, you know, given making sure clients are renewing. Um, and we reward the trainers that way as well. Now, the, the benefit of finding these trainers, they're all over the place. And these trainers, again, they're great trainers, but they're not the best in sales and marketing. And the average lifespan of a trainer is about two years 
And then they realize they can't do it full time anymore. And then they pivot and, you know, and go down a different course. So the problem that we're solving for trainers is we're actually giving them a client versus a lead. And they value that as well. Now, what's happened during COVID, a lot of trainers also got furloughed. So they're sitting on the sideline waiting and wondering what to do next. And this is a great opportunity for trainers to now pick up clients in their schedule whenever they want to. So we don't force our trainers to now pick up clients, um, you know, and, and we don't kind of have, we don't govern them. They're all, you know, freelancers, independent contractors. Hey, you don't want to, you know, pick up a client or two. We don't care. It's like an Uber driver. You could be as busy or as little busy as you want, but you just want to make sure you have enough trainers on the platform to really fulfill the demand that's coming in. So trainers love the flexibility and they love the, the convenience that we have set up for them. Awesome. Yeah. And because I think most people don't, most people don't want to be the boss, right? So for, for, yep. for your trainer, they enjoy doing the work. Um, they've got their passion areas, things they're good at. And again, being able to essentially like, you know, as an employee or, or a contractor who doesn't want to do something that they love and be able to set their schedule and basically work when they want to. So, and, and without having to find, without having to find the work because you're taking care of that for them. So awesome. Exactly. So very, and again, Hey, I always tell people if you're completely worried about labor issues, then business ownership is probably not for you. But when you're looking at this, I mean, there's always going to be labor issues, but man, it's really minimized with the perks that you're bringing to the table for them. So um, that's, yeah. that's super, super cool. And, some of this you've talked about a little bit, but um, kind of the support an owner should expect from send me a trainer. So you've got the you've got the app, right? Which is that's that's fantastic. Um, but talk a little bit about some of the other things that you're doing to help your owners get started and to be successful. Yeah, no, absolutely. We have a you know we have a very great uh, training onboarding process and coaching and mentorship program where we actually work really closely with all of our franchise owners. Uh, we've also created an online uh, digital academy where you can actually log on and literally take like an online course. And we've, break in, we've broken down the business model step-by-step step where you can watch videos, Q&A, go back and watch the video again. You could download documents. So it's a very robust um, coaching program where you have access to the online academy that we've put together for you. In addition to that, you work with our business coach where we you know, touch base uh, you know, once or twice a week or sometimes more, especially in the beginning to make sure you have good comprehension of what you're learning on the academy. And then while you're actually implementing and you start the, running the business, we are also there to give you weekly, um, you know, coaching calls where we're making sure that as you're running the business, you have the good clarity of any questions that pop up. We're there to really support you. So, the, the support is state of the state of art. We, we it's a class. We put a lot of time and effort into that, um, and that's important to us. And I always see, you know, one thing I, I find funny is I talked to a lot of previous franchise owner. The first and the first thing they say, "How's your support?" I was like, well, you know, meaning, and I was like, well, what, why are you coming off like, I'm like, something's wrong. Like, what's, what, ha what has happened to you before that kind of, you know, and what I've heard is a lot of franchise companies, they don't support a lot, you know, their, their franchises um, to a certain degree. And that's sometimes the challenge, the, the disconnect. And when we built this franchise, we realized the biggest asset that we have to stick the flag on and be great at not good, but great at is making sure franchises are supported thoroughly and continue support because once they kind of get going, then there are always new things are going to open up and more questions, but we always want to make sure we're there for them, give them the training and the support that they need so they can continue to scale their business. And you, you guys almost like 
this, I don't want this to sound bad. You guys almost do too much, right? Like how much support you guys give your owners is, 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 is is amazing. Um, yeah, that, that doesn't mean as an owner, you get to just, you know, Hey, let me kick my feet up on the desk and wait for send me the trainer to make me millions of bucks, right? You got to get out there and and work and do it. But even into all of the marketing things, um, that, that you're going to have in place, it is, it is truly overwhelming and impressive because you're right. It's not, there's always support within a franchise system. Um, but there's, there's the, like kind of the, the minimum requirements. And then there's the ones that are just going over the top, like you guys. So that I, to me, I just, I, I commend you for how much, how much you have in place for your owners. Um, and all of this, we talked about all the different services, the potential customers, um, the support from the franchisor, um, and all of this from a financial perspective, the investment is, as about as low as you can be. So um, for, for those listening to the podcast, we've got a slide up here with the, with basic um, startup costs and, and total investment with this, but it's, it's basically nothing because you have no overhead, no, like there's, there's kind of nothing for this. So give everybody just kind of a quick taste of that kind of minimum investment and, and uh, yeah. for, from that perspective. Yeah, no, so you could get started as low as $50,000. And the breakdown of that 50 is your franchise fee is about 35K. Um, and that 35K franchise fee will cover you up for a population up to 50,000 people. And that's based off your territory, how large the territory. But for every 50,000 people, there's a franchise fee of 35K. Now, the remaining 15K, that stays with you, the franchise owner, and that's working capital to really fund the business in the early months. And that's where, you know, your, your sales and marketing, Facebook ads, Google ads, basic business insurance, and other miscellaneous costs. Because you don't really even have labor costs with this because you're, when you're, obviously you're paying your trainers, but you're paying them when they work, which means you got paid, right? So Exactly. Um, and then the scalability for this is, I mean, you could have, oh my gosh, you could have, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven territories for the cost of one like boutique fitness location, like where you would have one location of that mm-hmm. where you you could have quarter of a million people for really honestly less than that, which is from a scalability perspective is just absolutely fantastic. So um, that's cool. And then I Barry, this has been fantastic, and I love all of the info. Um, I, I think it's easy to see why this is such a fantastic opportunity. Um, what if, what have we maybe missed that we haven't talked about uh, regarding send me a trainer that you'd like us to to uh, like like us to know? So uh, I'll touch on a little bit on the scalability. I think we talked about a little bit, but it's uh, you know it's what a lot of our franchises owners what they really what stands out is how scalable this is because once you get your territory up and running you can now quickly open up other territories uh, without having time of cost to mobilize to now it's not like a brick and mortar you need six months to find your next location once you kind of get started and you see you know the natural virality of the concept really is taken off and you get excited and now you can quickly penetrate other markets very quickly. And I think that's one thing a lot of our, uh, we've heard from our franchises. That's one of the, the key things that they like because it's technology based, you can scale and penetrate markets a lot faster and also give the clients the right user experience um, and also keep the value for uh, the trainers as well. And again, I think that the other piece with that scalability is you've got recurring revenue, right? You're, you talked about with the trainers, they're, they get to stay on the app if they're doing a good job. Do they have a good rating? Are, there, are their clients renewing? And from a customer mm-hmm. perspective, if, again, I think the hardest part from, from a fitness perspective is, number one, getting started and then being able to really maintain that habit. And if you've got that trainer coming to you on a, you know, whatever that weekly basis is, it, it's easy for me to blow off a workout by myself. It's harder when somebody's right, right there coaching me along. Um, so that scalability from the recurring revenue. And then uh, again, just, it's so easy to scale. You don't have yeah. overhead, you don't have costs, man. That's, that's fantastic. So I yeah. love it. 
No, absolutely. And, you know, when we built the franchise, Tim, we really, you know, focus on, we want to build the modern way of franchising for the future of franchise ownership. And that's where you can get a breath of fresh air of seeing the automation on. And that's where I think we were also covered on the cover of Entrepreneur Magazine. And they're highlighting the innovation of technology that we were bringing into the franchising world. Um, that, they wrote a great article there as well. Um, but it's really, you know, our, you know the, as a franchise ownership, it's the future of franchising as far as we have automated a lot of the processes for you. And that way you could focus on your bottom line versus doing tedious tasks that you really shouldn't be doing, right? And focus on growing your business versus being stuck in the business. Um, and that's one thing we take uh, a lot of pride in. Awesome. As, 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 as well, you should, because you guys, are, this is, this is fantastic, man. I'm really glad I'm really glad we connected. We're glad we were able to get you on here um, on, on, on the webinar, on the podcast. So Barry, man, I can't thank you enough for joining us today and, and educating us all about Send Me a Trainer. Thank you. I definitely appreciate your time and thanks for having me, Tim. You are welcome. And as always, we hope this will help enlighten those interested in franchise ownership to some of the amazing possibilities that are out there. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a franchise owner, for Send Me a Trainer or any of the 500 plus other brands that we're partnered with, then let's schedule a brief introductory call. You can find us online at francoach.net or any of the social media sites that you can think of. Um, and then also for our podcast listeners, be sure to subscribe to the Franchising 101 series wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Um, again, there's never any fee for our service. So we encourage you to take that first step today to help create your better tomorrow. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Stay safe and we hope to connect soon. Have a great day.